My name is Moose and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be painting the heels of my roller skates and I thought it'd be fun to record it because I have seen people on Instagram, not on like my Instagram, but other people's Instagrams, ask how they painted their roller skates and I've seen some really cool paint jobs that people have done, some like wavy lines, some just cool colors. Um, and that kind of inspired me to want to paint my Moonlight Rollers, my mirror balls, uh, to have a black heel because I just really like the look of the black heel. Um, I saw infamous Joanna, or Joanna, I don't know which it is, um, she painted her roller skates, her Moonlights, with a black heel a long time ago. I told myself when I got mirror balls I wanted to paint the heel of mine black because I thought that looked really cool. Um, but you can paint them any color. It doesn't have to be just black. I've also seen pink. I've seen kind of wavy lines. I've seen orange. I've seen red. It's really easy to do it and you can do it for under $10 too, just depending on what kind of supplies you have at home. Alright, so the supplies you're going to need, no the necessities I should say you're going to need, is the paint of your choice. Like I said, I'm going to do black, so this is the just an all-purpose acrylic paint. It's really important that you get an acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is going to stick better and it can last a little bit better through weather and especially if you're going to use them outside. Um, if you're worried, you can also get a sealer. I know people have sealed their paint job if they do a lot of like um, skating on the beach or places that have sand or are wet. Um, it's better to seal because then you can ensure that everything's not going to move or peel off really quickly. Other than the paint, you're going to need some paint brushes. I grabbed two paint brushes. I grabbed a bigger one. So this is going to be the one to use to get the color onto the majority of the heel. Just big and flat. And then I also grabbed a detail, kind of fine, for the edges. Another thing you're going to want to get that I don't have right now, so we're going to have to go grab some, is painter's tape. Painter's tape is super important because you want to protect the suede or the vinyl or whatever material your skate's made out of. So you'll want to put a layer of tape right here so that it protects it and you don't get any of the acrylic paint on there because it will stain and it won't come off. Other things that you can have aside would be like your skate tool if you want to take off your wheels. I have the Y3 here from Powerdyne. The, uh, the labels are no longer in it. They kind of fell out a while ago. Um, and you can also get a little wrench to take off the plate if you want to do that. I'm not going to because I'm lazy. <laughs> so I'm just going to say right there, I'm too lazy to take the plate off. So we're just going to work around it and hope for the best. So yeah, um, first things first, let's go get some painter's tape. All right, so I have grabbed the tape and uh, we can get started. This is a really weird angle, but I forgot to record this before I set up my camera. So here's the tape. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna gather up all the materials that we need and put them on the table or on your workspace. I'm going to cover my table just because I don't wanna get any paint on it. I don't think that you will get any paint on it since we are painting just a small area, but if you want to be safe, go ahead and cover your workspace. I'm just gonna take my wheels off quick just so I don't have to deal with them getting in my way. All right, so now that the wheels are off, we're going to just head right into taping the skate. The key with taping is that you're going to want to get as close as possible to the heel with covering the suede. If you have to, you can cover the heel. You just do not want to leave any of the suede exposed, as if you do, you could possibly paint the suede and you don't want to paint or stain. We're just looking to paint the heel.
here you can see how I have taped my skates. You can see how close I've gotten to the heel. I've covered the suede 100%. There is a few places where the tape is overlapping though, but that's okay because we can repaint them later. And now it's time to paint. I'm going to be taking my large wide brush and using that to basically get the majority of the paint on the heel. Uh, so I'm gonna slather it in some paint and start painting. The key with painting a skate is that with the wide brush, you want to get as close as possible to the tape, but you don't want to necessarily paint over it unless you can guarantee that you've created like a seal that you won't get any paint on the skate. Now I'm going to take my detailed brush, my small fine brush, and we're going to go into the parts where there's stitching on my boot, and we're also going to go around closer to the tape line as close as possible. And you can just see I'm trying to get the paint into the stitches and covering them so that there is no brown stitches or brown heel left. This is the next day for me. I let the boot dry all the way and now I'm going to take the tape off and see if there's any spots that I missed. You will see here that when I took the tape up, I was worried that the suede was getting damaged because I saw it kind of fluff up a little bit, but I took a suede brush to it and it looks perfectly fine. It doesn't look like any particles were coming up and it doesn't look like it did any damage. Since it looks like I did miss some spots because of the tape, I'm going to just take my small detailed brush again and go over those spots and also any thin spots that I've noticed that I missed when I was painting yesterday. Now that I'm done touching up my skates, I'm just going to set them down and let them dry 100%. And now the skates are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you'd enjoyed it or if you have any suggestions for me and give the video a like. I would really appreciate it. Um, if you guys really like this video and you want to see more content from me, go ahead and subscribe to me. I will be making more videos here soon as I am almost done with school. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!